If your controller is still not communicating with your server, in other words, your online status still reads offline, another common issue is having a missing or incorrect IP address in the event server on your controller's user interface. To fix this, first enter the IP address of your controller in the browser address bar. Next, log in to your controller's interface with your login and password. Remember the default login is admin and the default password is also admin lowercase. Okay, when you get in the system, click on the settings menu on the top left of your screen. In the system settings page, enter your server's IP address in the event server field. Please note that many people mistakenly enter their controller's IP in this field. It is very important to ensure you are entering only your server's IP address here. The event server's IP is typically going to be the same computer that your server software is located on. This step basically points the event's database on the controller to the event server on your computer server. Without this step, your controller will not go online. Make sure to click the Save button on the menu located on the top right. Finally, click the Restart button also on the top right. Older firmware may have the Save and Restart buttons on the bottom of the page. Once the restart is clicked, a progress bar will display. Once the restart is completed, navigate back to your software program and check to make sure it says Status Online and Download Successful.